for Crack and Like and Challenger. I'm your host, James Moreland. Today I'm filming a video, a highly requested video that I did not plan, but it is an update on my baby betta fish. So if you guys don't know, I got a baby betta fish, I think a couple months ago. I made an awesome video about it, you guys can check that out up here or something. A lot of y'all want an update on it. I mean, I love my betta fish, and actually, can I just give you an update before I even go up to the tank upstairs? The betta's name is Cherry. And a lot of you guys like it, make sure you comment hashtag cherry the beta for a chance to be featured on the next video. But yeah, this this 10 gallon down here, I'll show you guys later. But this 10 gallon down here is gonna be split in half. And I'm gonna have velvet on one side and cherry the beta on the other side. And it is going to be awesome because I'll have my two betas right down here with me. And I'm gonna be honest, before I show you guys the tank upstairs, I've kinda let it fall. I've I've let it I've let it become disgusting. I still do water changes, but they're like a weekly, bi-weekly, like two weeks. The last one I did, I think, was last week. And actually, guys, I'm starting school tomorrow. If you're watching this on Monday and this video has been uploaded later in the day. I decided to do uploads later in the day just because after school I can upload it so I have more time a to edit or if I have to do things I can just publish it then and you probably are done with school by the time I post it. So that is going to be awesome. His tank has gotten a lot of algae on it. I mean I've tried scraping it off but the tank is plastic so it's hard to scrape because I don't want to like rip it off so I mean I haven't been really doing that so yeah Let, let's go upstairs but before that shout out to all the people on screen you guys commented on the last video again comment hashtag cherry the beta for a chance to be featured so these guys are awesome thank you for commenting and hopefully we'll be doing this on other videos but let's go upstairs so guys we are here in the tank um, I'll show you some close-ups soon of the tank and of the beta but I've been looking at this this is just a little chart that's trying to like figure out what type of beta it is if you guys have any suggestions on what type it is I did get them as a baby, so that was kind of uh, interesting. It's, it's different. I'd actually recommend you guys getting a baby beta. I think it's really cool because you get to see them grow, and I've been able to see him grow. When I got him, he's extremely small. Um, water changes are kind of a pain in such a small tank because I actually have to take him out and then drain the water. Um, but again, you can see the algae on the side. It's horrible right now just because I can't really scrape it. Um, I guess I could try using the sponge method, but... Also, when you disturb the water, so much splashes around, I don't want to spill it out. The heater came up from underneath, so it's like floating a little bit. So, I mean, like, I don't really care about the looks. But I did turn off the pump for this video because it is really loud. Th this is the little pump thingy. It's like, I think it's called like the whisper or something. I don't know. It's a really horrible, small, loud pump. Actually, I'll turn it on. Yeah. Th that is not that good. So he's gonna be moved into his own tank with his own special little filter, which is going to be awesome, and I'm sure he's gonna love it. But yeah, update. He he's doing really awesome, actually. <laughs> really cute. He was actually sleeping on his beta bed, and it was adorable. And you guys know Velvet hated his beta bed, but no, Cherry Cherry likes it. But overall, this tank is like pretty good. I'm actually gonna be doing a small Pico saltwater tank in this using a one gallon sump and it's just gonna be awesome. Hopefully like a couple coral in there. Um, they'd have to be really hardy because with the, such a small tank, the levels change so drastically. Like if I put my hand in there, anything on my hand if it's not sterilized can like kill the entire tank, which, which is gonna be a pain. But yeah, I'd recommend this. I'll probably drop a link in the description. It's on Amazon. I think it was only like 30 bucks, but yeah, it's a pretty good tank. Yo, know, but, but Cherry is beautiful. In the next like less than a week, we'll be moving him because I'm getting a tank divider from Life with Pets, so that is going to be awesome. So I, I can't wait. So I hope you guys enjoy this update video. I will have a short cinematic of this entire tank. I'll ski on the flippy flop. See y'all later. Bye.